Hi everyone, welcome back to Dave's Math Channel. I'm your host, David Tear, and uh, today I'm gonna talk about uh, something I think is really interesting, known as Durr's Magic Square. Yesterday I talked about the Loshu Square, which was the order three, the unique order three uh, normal magic square. Well, it turns out, even though there's only one normal order three magic square, it turns out there's a total of 880 possible um, order four magic squares. The number grows very, very fast. Uh, I think the number is known for order five as well. It's in the millions, I believe, and it's not even ordered, known for anything bigger than that. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's already a lot of uh, order four by four, order four magic squares, but there's one that really stands out, I think. And it's known as Durr's square, or Durr's magic square. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. And, um, I mean, here's a picture of it. This is an insert from, uh, uh, I'll get to this later, but this is an insert from uh, um, uh, one of his paintings. Albrecht Durer, in case you don't know, he was, uh, he was a very famous painter. Um, I believe he was from Germany. He was a German Renaissance uh, uh, painter. Uh, he's been compared to Leonardo da Vinci. I don't think he was anywhere nearly as great as Leonardo da Vinci, but he was kind of in the same vein. I mean... He uh, not only was he a great artist, great painter, but he also um, really liked math. I mean, he was also a mathematician. He came up with this magic square for one thing. But he uh, he painted. I'll I'll show you what his. I mean, this is a self portrait of him, by the way. So he he painted a lot of stuff, including a very beautiful self portrait of himself. I guess he wasn't such a handsome man. At least I don't think he was. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, here's his most famous painting. It was called Melancholia One, and um, I don't know how clearly you can see this. Uh, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, mathematical images in this picture. Uh, if you look at this picture, you look. There's a solid uh, uh, middle left. There's this kind of weird uh, um, so That's actually a mathematical shape it's a truncated um i forget what it's called i think it's a truncated um uh, uh hexahedron it has six yeah it would have had six sides except that the the uh vertices are uh, oh no it's a truncated uh tetrahedron i believe i don't even remember what it is but it's it's um maybe it is a truncated hexahedron i'm not sure but um anyway it is, it is a mathematical solid i'm not sure if it's one of the archimedean solids but there's other things in here too there's uh um there's i think there's an hourglass in here somewhere i don't even remember all the details uh um i mean you got this kind of thinker on the uh, middle on the right kind of reminds me of rodan's thinker uh but the, the the thing i really want to talk about in this picture is the thing in the upper right you'll notice there's a little square a uh, little dark square uh, grid um, just above uh, the guy's head. That is actually the um, the Durer magic square. And you can't see it very clearly here. Here's a magnified picture of it. So this is just a detail from, the, from Melancholia 1, and it is his uh, magic square. And um, it, is a, it is an order 4 magic square, the magic constant... For normal order for magic squares is 34. And you can check for yourself that every row, every column, and both of the uh, long diagonals sum to 34. So that makes it a magic square. But not only that, it's, I mean, the, this one really stands out. I'm sure it stands out much better than any of the other 879 uh, order for magic squares in the sense that, I mean, here's a, here's a clear picture of it. I probably should show you this one. This one's a little easier to do the math because you can see the numbers more clearly. Yeah, so just you can check for yourself that every row and every column and the two long diagonals add up to 34. But, um, and each of the numbers 1 to 16 appears exactly once as a must. Uh, but uh, not only, uh, so the only thing that would re it would require, the only property is that it would require to be a magic square is that if, the uh, the lines, if you look at this upper left figure, uh, each of these figures, uh, each of these 12 figures shows you different ways in which you can get sums of, uh, of 34. And uh, um, yeah, I said there's 34 ways to get 34. Yeah, there are in this picture. So, so there's only 10 uh, that, that are required. 
you know, the, the, the four rows, the four columns, and the two long diagonals. That's what makes them magic. But what makes it even more magic is that it actually has another 24 ways you can get 34. And they're all very interesting geometrically. I mean, look at this. The, the four corners add up to 34. If you look at the second picture, also the four, the four squares in the middle add up to 34. Uh, and then uh, the these two rectangles, if you look at the third picture, you know, if you take a rectangle uh, in the middle, you know, um, either vertical or horizontal one, you get 34 that way. Or if you take any any four um, uh, squares in the corner, in any of the four corners, you get 34. If you take these uh, rhombuses uh, in the fifth picture, there's two uh, rhombuses that are mirror images of each other. Those give you sums of 34. If you take other squares, you know, where, where uh, I guess three by three square, the corners of three by three squares, you get 34. Uh, you could do it uh, um, any one of four different ways. Six and seven pictures. You can take tilted squares even. So if you take uh, one of these tilted squares, which you can think of as being formed by a chess knight, um, ones, they're mere reflections, mirror images of each other. Those give you 34 too. Or you can take these funny parallelograms in the ninth picture, uh, both mirror images. It's kind of interesting how how th this thing has a lot of symmetry. You notice too. I mean, every I think every kind of figure you, that you can get thirty four with, you can you can get with any if you do any any uh, symmetry transformation on it. Any of the uh, D four symmetries. I'm not going to get into group theory, but there's eight uh, possible symmetries of a of a square. I think if you apply any of them. To any of the figures that give you 34, you get another figure that gives you 34. Pretty amazing. And uh, I guess there's a little, um, and then you get more parallel parallelograms. So that's 34 ways you can get 34 out of Durer's magic square. Pretty amazing. And it was a pretty amazing discovery by by this uh, Renaissance man, Albert Durer. Um, discovered in 1514. I guess there's one last thing I forgot to mention. Look at the numbers on the bottom of this square, 15 and 14. He did this on purpose. I mean, there's different ways that, you know, he could have rotated or translated a square, but it turns out that not only does uh, this man, his, his magic square have all these amazing properties, but the numbers on the bottom, 15, 14, that's the year. That is the year that he came up with this square. It's the year he painted Melancholia 1. So that was part of his signature, the year. So anyway, that's uh, that's my video on Durer's Magic Square. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Long live math, and I'll see you guys next time.